Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create or simulate endnotes uh, in an ebook. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but the concept of a page is not really there in an ebook, and the reason for that is because the user can actually change the font and the font size and also the zoom factor of an ebook. So when he's uh, watching or reading the ebook on his Kindle device, um, what happens is he's allowed to uh, zoom into the page, which basically will change the effective page size and also the size of the font. Okay, so a lot of people ask me, oh, um, what is the page size? Well, you can't really define that when you're creating the book because the page size is really determined by the end user. Okay, so um, having said that, we can create endnotes, and this is the way I would recommend that people uh, create their endnotes, which will, uh, which would work. Okay, so basically, what I have here is I'm just going to load uh, up a uh, a book. Okay, so I've just loaded up a basic book which I created just for this uh, video. Um, just giving it a title of endnotes test book. I just filled out some of this stuff. Um, for the um, cover page, I'm just going to choose my own photograph. Okay. <laughs> and um, uh, we're going to leave all this alone. Okay, so for chapter one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this. And um, I'm going to delete this, okay, because I just went through the uh, process myself just to make sure. Okay, so here is chapter one. So in chapter one, you may have a whole bunch of um, writing. So let me go ahead and copy and paste some of this uh, stuff for you. Okay, so here is some, just some random text um, about elephants. Okay, I'm just going to go back in. Style, normal. All right, and I just want to make it a little bit bigger so people can see this. All right, okay. So what we have here is just some paragraph that I took from Wikipedia on elephants. Okay, and let's say, for example, we want to create an end note um, at this location here. Okay, so right here I want to create an end note. So what I would do is I would basically do something like this, and I would highlight this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a link. Okay, but before I make this into a link, I need to link to something, right? So here's my end note one. So what I've done is I've created a chapter called end notes, okay? And I've made it not show in table of contents because we don't want to show them in the table of contents. I mean, that's up to you. If you want to show them, that's great. For this example, I'm not going to show them in the table of contents. And then I have a section under my chapter called note one. And in note one, I'm just going to put this is um, and note one, and then I'm going to put the word back, okay? All right, so we can go back to this chapter, okay? So let's do the first one first, right? So we're going to go here, and we are going to scroll down to where I had my, I had studied through my end note. Now here we can do, uh, what we want to do is make this into like a superscript, okay? So we highlight this text, we go to format character, okay, and actually before we do that, let's let's make it into a link. So we highlight the text, we go bookmark, we say insert link to bookmark, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to link to this section here. So we'll say table of contents, and we can link to the section, okay, which is here. We'll click OK. So now this becomes a link. Now what we want to do is we want to make this into like a superscript. So let's try and do that, right? Which is a tiny little, uh, make this smaller in size, right? So we're going to highlight, we're going to go to format character. And then down here we've got the option for superscript, okay? And um, it says here a superscript of point three, uh, three points. So let's try that. Now this is still uh, 16 in size, so we're going to go 6. We want a small one, and we'll click OK. 
So this creates a tiny little one right here. All right, and that's great because that we can uh, we can click on this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the notes. So this, when we click on this, it's going to jump to our notes. So we need a way of actually jumping back. Now, when we jump back, where do we jump back? We don't want to actually jump back to the start of the chapter. We actually want to jump back right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor here, and I'm going to say bookmark, and I'm going to say insert bookmark. Okay? And I'll just call this B1. Or I can say, to make it a little bit easier, yeah, I'll, let me just say B1. Okay? Click OK. All right, now to see this bookmark, you can always go bookmark and say show bookmarks. And if I take my cursor away, you see this long I type of uh, character. This indicates that the here is a bookmark here. So if you want to see the bookmarks on any page, you can turn them on and off by using this option here. So since I turned them all on, my, my option now becomes hide bookmarks. Okay, so I can hide all the bookmarks. Now that I've done this, I can go to notes, then I can highlight this, all right, and then I can say bookmark insert link to bookmark, and then I go to my content bookmark and see here it says that I have a bookmark called B1 in chapter one, okay, and we'll click OK, all right. So now this is going to jump back and automatically scroll your page down to the bookmark and it will be here. In fact, it will probably put it right at the top like that. Okay, so this is what you're going to see. All right, the next thing I want to show you, so we'll test this. The next thing I want to show you is um, you can actually jump to a bookmark um, which is on the same page. So you can, I mean, this is probably the best way of creating. I would recommend this, but some people want the bookmarks on the same page. I, I should say end notes, right? So what I would do in this case is let's say I, I'm going to go to the same notes, all right? And before we actually jump to the beginning of the section, so here I'm just going to put some uh, blurb here, okay? So let me go and get some blurb. In fact, I'm just going to type this in. This is some example text and I will um, create an end note that shows how to jump to uh, a, a point inside a para paragraph, okay? So we're going to jump right here. Okay, so we're gonna we're not gonna jump to the beginning of the page, we're gonna jump right to this bit this section here. Let me see what went wrong here. I'll go insert bookmark again. Let me insert the bookmark right here. I can create a bookmark right here. Insert bookmark B two. Okay, so here is a bookmark. I'm not sure why it's not showing up, but here is my bookmark. Okay? Now what we can do now is we're going to we're going to link to this bookmark so we go back to chapter 1 and then let's create another bookmark uh, a link to bookmark right here so we'll call this 2 all right and we'll do the same thing we'll say link to bookmark and we're going to go bookmark so this time instead of going to the table of contents and and linking to the section which will actually link right to at the top of the page we are going to link to the specific bookmark here, which is B2. We'll click OK. And now here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn this into a superscript. So we are going to pick size 6, superscript, and leave this at 3. Click OK. And then this becomes a superscript of 2. All right. Now that we've done this, um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to save this. And I'm going to export this. OK. So this is EndNotes test. Okay, so this is building my book now. All right, once it's done, I added a new uh, dialog which says open file uh, location. It's just a convenience. Uh, a lot of people don't know where their book is once they've generated it. So I, I created that for you.
okay so we're gonna let's go ahead and have a look at that book okay so we're gonna double click so it loads up our Kindle viewer and here is our book let me just show you the cover page and here so we've got the title page and chapter one now if you notice here we don't see the end notes because we did say that we're not we're gonna hide them from the table of contents now if you look at this okay we're gonna go to and and this is really showing you that you know the concept of the page really depends on the font size and the zoom factor okay so we're gonna keep scrolling okay so we see this see we see this end note here and another end note here so if I go end note one it's gonna jump right to the um, to end note one and I click I can click back so it takes you back here now over here is end note two so if I click that remember we created an end note two right here well it takes you right to the actual paragraph itself now we didn't create a backlink unfortunately I kinda of forgot but you get the idea right and if I scroll up you can see that we have the top of that uh, section so there you have it though this is the way I would create endnotes now you can you can get you know real fancy and you you know you can create one page with several endnotes and then you can jump to each section of that page um, personally the way I would do this is like I showed you I would create an endnotes section uh, sorry a chapter called endnotes I would hide it from the table of contents and then I would create one one section for each endnote and then I would just link to that and keep it nice and clean okay so there you have it I hope um, you found this uh, interesting and uh, we'll see you in the next video